Perth, a quiet Australian hunter of British origin. A cruiser for valiant and cunning adventurers and cool-headed naval champions. A ship for those who can make quick decisions while strictly following a battle strategy. Born on the Albion, she has incorporated all the best qualities from her sisters in arms, including a feisty temperament and a natural reserve. Keeping your distance? Would a true warrior ever do that? Our fighter isn't afraid of getting into a scrape. At the same time, she won't enter a frontal attack. Perth prefers diplomatic negotiations at short range, using armor piercing and high explosive shells, and torpedoes. Yes, you heard right. This Australian ship does have HE shells, so unlike other British made cruisers, she can not only bake enemy citadels, but also roast their superstructures. And the silver cutlery would be her 8 150 mm guns. For Tier 6, Perth boasts a superb rate of fire. However, this comes at a price. Her firing range isn't high, which proves once again that our hero should stay on the front line throughout the battle. The cruiser's duty is to lead her squadron and fight for key areas against enemy destroyers. I bet none of them will be pleased to see Perth. Speaking of destroyers, the Australian cruiser has a lot in common with them. The first thing that comes to mind is powerful torpedo armament. There are four torpedoes on each side, and they have a decent range. In addition, Perth has the typical British feature. She can launch torpedoes one by one, leaving the enemy no chance to escape. It's an outstanding weapon for immediate destruction. The second feature that makes Perth similar to destroyers is her smokescreen. Of course, after Mikhail Kutuzov and the British branch, a smoke generator on board a cruiser is no longer a surprise, but Perth has her own way of using this consumable. The smoke screen is active for only 10 seconds, but it is deployed for as long as 90 seconds. There's no need for Perth to sit motionless in the smoke waiting for a torpedo salvo. Being a British-made ship, she feels at home in the smoke. Like a shadow warrior, Perth can move discreetly, sneak up on the enemies, and crush them with blazing strikes. But don't forget that our hero is a lightweight fighter. She mainly relies on accurate shots and fast maneuvers, not on thick armor, which again makes her similar to destroyers. You will pay dearly for any mistake. Even with a repair party on board, it won't compensate for the large losses of HP. Nevertheless, excellent concealment and rudder shift time make Perth a very hard target. She is small and dangerous, like a poisoned dagger, which can also be sharpened with commander skills and ship upgrades. Among the first row of commander skills, we recommend choosing basics of survivability. Since the Australian ship is not very effective against aircraft, basic firing training will barely save the situation. On the second row, the choice between expert marksmen and torpedo armament expertise depends solely on your playstyle preferences. Last stand and fire prevention may also be useful in different situations. Keep them in mind if any undistributed skill points remain. In the third row, Superintendent is the clear choice. The best part of our battle tactics rely on the competent usage of smoke and hydroacoustics, so an additional charge for consumables is invaluable. In the fourth row, in the absence of AA guns, Survivability Expert is the best. In the fifth, Concealment Expert. The last thing to remember about skills is that, despite her origin, Perth belongs to the Australian Navy, so it cannot be used for training British cruiser commanders. Speaking of upgrades, the best strategy is to improve artillery and maneuverability. In the first and second slots, main armaments and aiming systems are recommended. In the third slot, steering gears. And finally, to strengthen the set, go for damage control system.
As a result, we have a first-line light cruiser and one of the best fighters for key areas among her peers, an elusive destroyer hunter, and a true bane for warships of other types. At first, low survivability combined with aggressive gameplay may seem like a bad joke. But careful planning and wise usage of consumables will make Perth a good choice for brave, ambitious, and daring players.